Well, welcome back here to Riding Mower King. Today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different. I had gotten a request to record about what's in my yard. And I looked around a little bit online, and there, there doesn't seem to be too much where people show you what they have coming in. So I thought I'd do a little video about, you know, what came in this week. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. So first I got these couple of Cub Cadets here. This one's an LTX 1046. And this one is basically a parts machine. And once we go through all these, you know, I'll get close-ups and go over them a little bit. An LT 1045. And you can see the hoods are different, you know, there's, there's changes over the years. Along with those came this Troy Built Pony, which is a nice little basic entry level riding mower. And then here we have a Cub Cadet 50 inch zero turn that came in. That needs a little bit of work on the engine, but I think that's going to be a fairly easy fix. And that's going to cut a lot of grass for me. And then also, we got this Xmark commercial walk behind a 48 inch. And this is a really old machine. This needs an engine, needs a Kawasaki engine. Then the last thing that came in this week. This little wheel horse right here, nice little 702. It even has a mowing deck on it yet, which is really hard to come by on an older tractor. So on this X mark here, has a Kawasaki engine, air cooled. Most of the air now is in the back. I would assume that's a counterbalance there, but uh, something happened to this. It still had a lot of oil in it that leaked out, so I don't know if it just got to the end of its useful age and decided to quit. But it's a fixable machine. Overall, it doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape. It's got a little rust hole in the front of the deck. You know, right there, that needs to be have a patch put over it. But this is still a good machine the way it looks. Then we have this 50 inch Cub Cadet Zero Turn. This is an older model. This is Z Force. I have another one like this around here. And uh, this needs a seal for the crankshaft. The lower crankshaft seal came out. And the belt's got all full of oil and it stopped moving. Luckily, the engine's not blown yet. So, you know, they stopped before they really hurt the engine, I think. It's not locked up yet, so I ordered the seal for that. I just have to have time to put it on. <clears throat> and here's this Troy Built Pony. Like I said, it's an entry level machine. Has a Briggs and Stratton single cylinder on it. The engine appears to still be good yet. It has compression, but something got in there and damaged the fan so it's definitely going to need a new fan if it runs uh, hopefully I'll be able to do a video on this somebody was working on it it was out of mower shop before I got it a couple people before me I, it was out of mower shop and uh, you know, maybe maybe this is how it went to the mower shop and they said oh, I don't want to touch it I don't know but now it's here and I did get a bagger with it and here's uh, one of the Cub Cadets that came in. And for me, this is kind of a rare Cub Cadet, a rare category, I would say. Because they took the engine out of this. The, the person bought it new that I got it from. And they took the engine out. The engine was still good. And it was a V-Twin. Probably a Kohler Courage. The Kohler Courage V-Twins are actually not that bad. They hold up. They need a little work from time to time, but they hold up. But this one here, if you have a Cub Cadet, you know, maybe this is in the future if you, if you can run it long enough. But I think what really stopped this from being used is this seat bracket that broke out. It broke on both sides and the front part there. Here's the part that goes on the front. And uh, this was kind of a, an upscale tractor at the time. 
the S, uh, the LTX 1046. You know, they make a big deal about the X part. They even got a special label here. Industry leading 12 inch turning radius and a three and a five year warranty. And then the, the display there has a lot of stuff on it. You know, you don't normally get that kind of stuff. That kind of information on a riding mower, an electric PTO. And it has the uh, button that you would push in order to mow in reverse, a safety feature. Now this one's the LTX 1046. And the, on these Cub Cadets, that model number really has nothing to do with the size of the deck. You know, these are 1045s, 1042s. It really doesn't mean anything as far as the mowing deck. This one's a 46 inch deck. Now this one here I think is a little bit newer tractor. And this one has the infamous Kohler Courage, the single cylinder, which does have an oil leak, but I think it's the lower seal. It looks like it's really leaking right from the bottom of the engine. Up under here, it's not cracked yet. Actually, this one is cracked. You can't feel it down here. You can't feel a crack under here, but you actually can see right in there. You can see the crack right here. You can see the crack. So this engine is toast. It's not locked up. It has compression. And I've seen these engines run when they're cracked like that. But this engine is done for. And, you know, that's, way, that, that's too bad. Because this tractor is in really, really good shape yet. Another one, electric PTO. This has the bolt-on wheels, so this might be a little bit more heavy-duty tractor than the LTX 1046. It looks like it's still just a riding mower style uh, transmission on it. Doesn't look like it's a heavy-duty kind of transmission. It, it has two halves, top and bottom, not side to side. But that one's in the yard today. I was hoping to maybe make a video replacing that the oil seal on the bottom, the crank seal, but now I see that that engine is actually cracked. And last but not least, we got this nice little wheel horse here. Electric start. Cute little dashboard display there. It's only got a gauge, but they make it look like it's, you know, aluminum and all that, but it's really just a like a plastic printed decal and there's the battery there's the starter generator underneath that cover and it looks like original style tires on it the 36 inch deck the front tires look like they're original style maybe original this tractor these wheel horse 702s were supposedly built in 1962 and this still has all the belts on it. Uh, I'm hoping to do a video on this. Maybe I can, you know, do a quick clean on the carburetor and put a battery in it, clean that glass fuel bowl. Here you can see the glass fuel bowl. I think that's what they really used instead of a filter back then. But uh, hopefully I can clean the carburetor and, and run this around the yard a little bit. Now this is going to go into someone's collection and that, you know, that person's already, already found this machine and once I, once I have a chance to get it delivered to them, it's going to go in their collection so it's not going to be on the market or anything like that. For all you guys that are hoping to get a hold of it, it's already spoken for. But here's a, a quick little video about what's in the yard this week. Like I said, I had a request for something like this. So here I'm getting to do one. And th this is what came in. This actually all came in this week for me to, to work on and repair. And uh, hopefully I get to do a video on a couple of these. I really want to do a video on this little wheel horse just because I want to work on it. And it'd definitely be a video on this Cub Cadet. Because this, uh, this has a lot of grass to cut for me. That's the plan for this. This is going to be cutting my grass. And this one will definitely go on to a new home. And, you know, these are going to be, this one, 
this LTX 1046 is a parts machine. It's wore out. This one here, if the next owner can find an engine for this, because I'm probably not going to find an engine, uh, it's a nice piece yet. Just needs a new heart put in it. And it can be out mowing grass again. So if you want to see the, the videos I'd like to do on a couple of these, like and subscribe. And that way you'll get notified when I can get these machines, when I get them going, and I do put out a video on them. And if this video does well, I can, I'd like to do more like this. You know, what came in this week or what, what's in the yard this week or, or what's in the yard this month? So, well, that's what's here right now. This one here, I got plans of making a video on this. So if you want to see that when it comes up, hit subscribe and you can get notified when this one comes out. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, because I'm not going to have it forever. So see you next time. Thanks for watching.